right, so here's the longtime strike force now UFC veteran Bobby King Green. He actually changed his name on his birth certificate officially to King Green, which I guess is neither here nor there. But I think a lot of people, especially his fellow fighters, are really happy to see Bobby Green realize this type of success at this stage of his career. Of course, 2023, huge year for him. UFC main events, back-to-back -back bonuses against Tony Ferguson and Grant Dawson. And he believes tonight his boxing is going to be too slick. He's going to be too fast on the feet for this particular opponent. Only time will tell, but at least on paper, Green feels like he has a lot of advantages in this stylistic matchup tonight. UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Khabib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him. You will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbulla get in there between rounds. Little guy's <laughs> got a lot to say. <laughs> Grace the octagon, he is ready to go. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> particular challenge here tonight. Oh, and there it is. Too easy. Beautiful takedown, and on his first attempt, no less, we'll see if the boxer can get back up right. Well, he said that he was going to dominate him in the wrestling. He said he was going to take him down over and over again, and he was going to break his spirit. That's a great start to that. Getting that takedown, the first takedown, was very important in this fight. there from bottom position. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Khabib's in half guard. I need you to scramble. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, the ground and pound is 
been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmagomedov. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. He a lot of fighter move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. There it is. Now he's running him out. Ninety seconds to go. Oh, big elbow. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Oh. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side pull. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, there's a big overhand. Great takedown defense right now by the champ. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Nice job by Nurmagomedov mixing it up here on the feet, DC. I know you can speak to this as well as anyone. His striking has really started to catch up with the rest. Man, takedown defense 101. Sometimes I watch this boxer stuff shots, and it seems like he's been wrestling his whole life. Well, that's the first thing you have to do when you come into this sport is learn to defend takedowns. He has done that. He spent a lot of time working on this specific skill in this show tonight side the opera. Got his guard pass. Green getting touched here repeatedly with these ground and pound strikes from the top. Referee's not going to bail you out. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Pound strike there now. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, has the guard closed here? Elbow. Green's looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Wow, that thing's considered pretty good shot from bottom position. Under two minutes now in round two. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Green. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Oh, just missed on the overhand right. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Oh! Come on, push through it. Big left hand lands upstairs. There you go. There you go. Scramble, scramble. Oh, it looks
looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Neil Billy. Oh. Round three next. All right, the round is over, but not before right, significant damage was done. Huge round, huge round from Green. He does not want to be in this fight anymore. I need you to go out there and finish it. He doesn't want to be there. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. And that one certainly found the target. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, nice one. Oh, he hurt him again, bro. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Green. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time. Oh, he's stuck in the So we have passed the midway point in the fight. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Let's get to that half guard position now. And there you go, again, half guard. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Green. Alright, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Change of the position. Nermanko Medovs right back to the full mount. Final seconds of round three. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round, and Nurmagomedov's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown that you can't shoot. you got to set your opponent up to get that beautiful. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Defense holds up, he gets out. He said that he was ready for everything that would be thrown at him. In that position, he showed that and proved it. Oh, nice hammer fist there by Nermago Medov. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, right into mouth. Green's in half guard. Right into side mount. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Great defense by this fighter. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. In the half guard. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Working in half guard here, making these shots count. And now he's got the back. Mm, nice. Nurmago Medov's back in full mouth. Ten seconds now to go in the round. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. You're losing this fight. It goes to a decision. You're gonna lose, no doubt. So what are you gonna do about it? I need you to stay. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He fight? is one of those guys Ready. that's able to continuously Good. take you down, even if you get down. Oh, somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. Big left hand. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Roger Battle goes in for the takedown now. He's able to get it. So a nice entry and a wise move given how the things were playing out on the field. Oh, nice job by him there to move it a half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. He let him step over to the crucifix. Good work from the top here by Nermago Medov. Side control now. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. 
Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nermago Medov's in half guard. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Beautiful transition. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, side control now. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Khabib's back in side control. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. That does joke is tight. So the title fight goes the distance. Two of the most exciting words in all of mixed martial arts and new. I think we're going to hear Bruce Buffer utter those very words tonight. And new. And he relied on his striking in order to take the belt from the former champion. He fought beautifully tonight. And we are all proud to call him new UFC champion. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bobby. All right, so there's the newly minted UFC lightweight champion of the world. It's the word, it's, it's all every pro fighter wants to hear, and, and he gets to hear those special words tonight. Every fighter hopes they get that.